Hey everyone, I'm Jay Warren and welcome to another edition of On The Clock. You know, we often take our water for granted. It's easy just to turn on the tap and there's the water, right? And here in Arlington, we actually have won several awards for our great tasting water. Still, water supplies have come under increased scrutiny lately, with lead being found in some water supplies across the country. Now that's not happened here in Arlington, but we thought you might have an interest in how we test our water to make sure that it's safe. So let's go on the clock now with our Water Utilities Department and City Manager Trey Yelperton. Trey? Thanks, Jay. This afternoon, I'm at the Pierce Birch Water Treatment Plant with Assistant Director Craig Cummings, who's going to talk to us a little bit about how we treat water in Arlington. What we're looking at here is water that has just come from Lake Arlington. We've added some chemicals to it to cause whatever's floating in the water to start to stick together and settle down to the bottom. They're all natural algae, things of that nature, dirt particles, but the whole idea is to take the water from the lake and clarify it or clear it up. And what happens to the water process after that? We add some additional chemicals to the water. Primarily we have chlorine and ozone which really take care of the pathogens in the water. We want to make sure that any bad bacteria or protozoans or viruses are deactivated. Another thing that we do that's very important is we add something known as caustic soda which stabilizes the water with respect to corrosion and that's very important nowadays because we want to make sure that our water is not corrosive with respect to metals like lead and copper. And now I want to introduce you to Joe Sykes, our laboratory specialist, who's going to show you a little bit about how we actually do some of the sample analysis. Well, these samples are taken using uh, sterile containers uh, with a chemical that's required by the state to be in there to neutralize the chlorine so that there's not any interferences. We use a uh, special media that uh, would feed any of the bacteria that uh, might possibly be in a water system. We're going to add the media to the sample, we're going to shake it, and then we're going to incubate these samples for 18 hours. So how many times a day will you do this kind of test? I will do this uh, once, maybe twice a day. So each, each month, we're required to test how many samples of our distribution A system? minimum of 180 samples. So we've come down the hall now, and I'm in the metals lab with Ashley Wolf, who's one of our laboratory supervisors. And given a lot of the conversation that's gone on in the country today regarding copper and lead and water, I thought it'd be interesting for us to understand what happens in that situation here in Arlington. By federal and state regulation, it's required that we test uh, for lead and copper in our distribution system um, once every three years. So we're looking for either older homes that might have uh, lead pipes or homes that are uh, closer to the 80s range um, where they would have copper pipes with lead soldering that holds the pipes together or some sort of brass fixtures. That's where we would get the majority of our lead from. We do uh, pH adjustments on a daily basis at the plant. Why is making sure that the water's got proper pH relevant to that question? Acidic water is what causes these pipes to corrode. So we want to bring our pH up to make our water a little bit more basic so that it doesn't eat away at the deposits on the linings of the pipes, which keep the lead from seeping, leaching into your water. And then from a lead service line perspective, we're not really aware of any lines that we are, Yes, are, the city of Arlington does not have, have any, any lead that, service lines. There might be some older homes that have some solder connections that are something that should be monitored. Definitely. So there you have it, a quick tour of our Arlington Water Utilities Laboratories. And of course, I know you probably want to know about the results of the water quality. Each year, we'll publish an annual water quality report. It's published to our city's webpage, and we directly mail it to you in your water bill. All right, thanks, Trey, and thank you for watching this edition of On the Clock. Tune in next time when we we'll introduce you to more Arlington City employees doing good work to make our city a better place to live, learn, work, and play. We'll see you then.